Have you ever wondered what would unfold if you were to place a black hole right at the heart of a star? Black holes, those enigmatic cosmic entities with an irresistible gravitational pull, are known for their ability to trap even light itself. But what happens when you introduce one into the core of a star? The answer lies in the fascinating realm of Hawking stars, named after the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking, who first proposed their existence in 1971. These stars contain tiny black holes in their cores, known as primordial black holes, which do not consume them, but rather enhance their luminosity. Want to know how this works and why it matters? In this video, we are going to talk about what these primordial black holes are. How would a star be influenced if it harbored a primordial black hole at its core? And perhaps most significantly, what are the implications if our own sun were to host such an enigmatic object? Before diving into Hawking stars, let's explore the mysteries of primordial black holes and their potential connection to dark matter. Black holes are mysterious objects that have such strong gravity that nothing can escape them, not even light. Astronomers have observed three kinds of black holes, stellar mass, intermediate mass, and supermassive. These black holes are all heavier than the sun and formed after stars and galaxies did, long after the Big Bang that created the universe. But there may be another kind of black hole that we have not seen yet. These are called primordial black holes. They are very ancient and may have formed in the first second of the universe, before any stars or galaxies existed. How did they form? Some theories say that the early universe was not smooth and even, but had some regions that were denser and hotter than others. These regions could have collapsed under their own gravity and become black holes. The earlier they formed, the smaller they would be. The later they formed, the bigger they would be. So primordial black holes could have a wide range of masses, from much smaller than a paperclip to much larger than the sun. The famous physicist Stephen Hawking was fascinated by these tiny black holes. He studied how they behave according to quantum mechanics, the rules that govern the smallest particles. He found out that black holes are not completely black, but can emit radiation and lose mass over time. This is called Hawking radiation. He also realized that big black holes would take longer than the age of the universe to evaporate, while small black holes could have already vanished or be vanishing right now. Some theories hold that although black holes evaporate, there may be a size limit. So when an evaporating black hole reaches a certain mass, it stops evaporating and simply stays very small. Some of the primordial black holes that are still around today could help us solve some puzzles in astronomy. One of them is dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up about 30% of the universe, but we don't know what it is. It does not emit or reflect light, but we can detect its gravity. Some primordial black holes could be a type of dark matter, called machos, which stands for massive compact halo objects. These are black holes that are hiding in the outer regions of galaxies, where they are hard to spot. They could be part of the dark matter that holds galaxies together. One way to spot machos is by looking for events called microlensing. It happens when a black hole crosses in front of a faraway star or galaxy. The black hole acts like a lens and makes the light from behind it brighter and bigger. Microlensing is rare and quick, but if we see enough of it, we can figure out what the black holes are and if they are primordial. With trillions of black holes scattered across the cosmos, it's inevitable their paths will cross with stars at some point. What happens then? The impact on the star's fate would depend on the mass of the black hole. Remarkably, smaller black holes, comparable in size to atoms, would initially navigate through the vast interatomic spaces without significant interactions. Their minute size, akin to that of a hydrogen atom, means that absorption of matter would only occur upon collision with other atoms, an exceedingly rare event. Consequently, if the black hole's mass were comparable to that of an asteroid, it could persist within the star for billions of years without causing noticeable effects. Considering these minute black holes with diameters resembling hydrogen atoms, their absorption rates would be so marginal that even over the span of a billion years, the increase in mass would be negligible. Larger black holes, such as those with masses equivalent to Earth or a dwarf planet like Pluto, would possess a greater capacity for absorption. Consequently, they could undergo accelerated growth, transforming the star in a few hundred million years, potentially altering its trajectory before evolving into a red giant. If, during the initial stages of star formation, an Earth-mass black hole finds itself in close proximity to a potential star, it is likely to gravitate towards the star's center, where it can reside for millions of years. Over time, this unassuming black hole begins a transformative process from within. The central region of the star, 
undergoes a significant change as the black hole develops an accretion disk, albeit on a much smaller scale than conventionally observed. This unique accretion disk emits incredibly high temperatures, surpassing the thermal output of the star itself. As the black hole accumulates mass, it generates substantial power, influencing the surrounding star's dynamics. Functioning akin to a cosmic mixer, the black hole disturbs the internal structure of the star, leading to expansion and altering its traditional behavior. At this juncture, the star ceases to rely on hydrogen fusion and becomes a celestial entity powered predominantly by the black hole at its core. Scientists propose the term Hawking object for this novel astronomical phenomenon, a nod to Stephen Hawking. Given the intense heat generated internally, the Hawking object is anticipated to cool off by growing larger and evolving into a red giant at a much earlier stage than expected. Despite this premature transformation, the absence of internal fusion renders it slightly cooler than comparable stars, marking it as a distinctive celestial entity in the cosmos. The Hertzsprung-Russell HR diagram serves as a pivotal tool in astrophysics, offering valuable insights into the cosmic landscape by presenting the distribution of main-sequence stars. This complex diagram, which examines luminosity, magnitude, color, and temperature, serves as a crucial gateway for scientists to explore the enigmatic nature of celestial bodies. It facilitates the deduction of not just the mass and age of stars, but also provides a means to delve into their internal properties. While most stars elegantly position themselves on this diagram, allowing for comprehensive analysis, anomalies occasionally emerge. Stars that deviate from the expected alignment, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the cosmic tableau. The realm of astrophysics introduces the intriguing phenomenon of red stragglers, giant red stars with peculiar temperatures. A recent study, harnessing the observational capabilities of the Guia telescope, has unveiled approximately 500 of these stellar anomalies, challenging conventional explanation. Researchers propose the possibility that these red stragglers might house the elusive Hawking stars, obtaining their energy not through fusion, but through the accretion of primordial black holes. In the quest to identify black holes within stars, scientists are pushing the boundaries of exploration beyond temperature variations. One promising avenue involves asteroseismology, a technique that entails observing the vibrational patterns of stars. Driven by extensive currents within convective plasma, all stars experience vibrations, generating diverse waves and global oscillations reminiscent of a musical instrument. Asteroseismology, dedicated to unraveling the secrets of stellar interiors through the study of seismic waves, delves into these global oscillations. Intriguingly, if primordial black holes exist within a specific mass range, certain stars in our Milky Way could have captured them, presenting a challenge in distinguishing them from rare giant phase stars in terms of colors and sizes. However, the vibrational patterns of swollen Hawking stars would markedly differ from their counterparts. Although no definitive candidates for these enigmatic stars have been identified, the research team remains steadfast in their commitment to analyzing data, including potential signals, from the latest release by the European Southern Observatory's Gaia satellite using astroseismology. Whether or not the quest leads to the discovery of Hawking stars, the pursuit promises to yield valuable insights into the cosmic tapestry. Exploring the potential existence of a black hole within our sun has been a subject of interest, with even Stephen Hawking considering this concept in the past. The idea posits the presence of a black hole, constituting approximately one millionth the mass of the sun hidden within its core. In the field of astroseismology, researchers study the global oscillations of the sun, revealing minimal movement in its core, but significant plasma currents closer to the surface. When applying astroseismology to Hawking stars, which share similarities with the sun, a meticulous examination of the deep core is essential, where material is in continuous motion. Seismic waves traversing this region would demonstrate distinct propagation patterns, resulting in a discernible shift in the star's sustained harmonics, a phenomenon comparable to altering the sound of a drum by changing a patch of its skin. Current studies in astroseismology that concentrate on the sun have not yielded evidence of unexpected convection regions in its interior. However, these investigations typically do not delve into the deepest core regions, potentially overlooking the potential impact of a black hole with a mass about a millionth that of the sun. If such a black hole does exist, it could initiate a transformative process over the next 100 million years, 
causing the sun to undergo rapid expansion and a substantial increase in luminosity. This heightened luminosity would persist for several billion years, ultimately leading to the formation of a red straggler. That's all we have for you in this video. See you next time.